Shalom, praise the Lord, glory to you. As usual, I always come up with the new revelations. So I want you to watch my video from the beginning to the end. That way you can understand why am I telling you that Jesus is not the way, Jesus is not the Messiah. And all those things that I have told you in my past video, that I'm going to today show you something new that way you will understand. So before you start watching my video, please make sure you put thumbs up. Only reason so they can rank my video. And if you have any question, ask me. But do not make me angry or do not try to teach me unless you are you think you are the Moshiach. If you're not the Moshiach, please do not teach me because I am not over here to teach you. I'm over here to what God reveals me that I'm passing down to you. So listen very carefully. The Jewish people, you better listen to me because I am not against you. I am with you. I am the one sent me to you to let you know that God has sent me. Now, it's written everything. It's written even though I know a lot of rabbis are telling something different. But I am telling you everything through the word. And if you understand me, and if you watch my each and every video, and if somebody is watching my video from the beginning, they will understand that I have something each and every video. There is something new revelations because that's what God gives me and that's what I pass it down to you. Now, remember again, Jewish people, I am not against you. Do not make me angry and do not talk bad about me. If you remember in Ecclesiastes, Solomon wrote it down. Do not even have a bad thought about the king or do not whisper in your bed about the king or the rich man because bird can listen to your whisper and take that message on their wings and pass it down to the king so please do not even think bad about me first thing and do not even talk about me if you do not have anything good to say about me. So do the Christians. Now, Christian people, you better listen that you all been deceived. You all been deceived. You may not like me right now. Right now, I'm middle of everybody. Why God put me in the middle of everybody? I have no idea. I am here for the whole world. But Mainly right now we have a problem between Christians, Judaism and Muslim where Hinduism is right now away from there. Buddhism is away from them. So this Abrahamic group that we call Christianity, Muslim and Jewish people, all three at this point, they may, they may. Uh, hate me even the Jewish people because when I said that Jesus is not the one what they talking about because there are so many Jewish people also believe in Jesus Christ they've been deceived also I almost got deceived in the beginning too because when the son of man came in the cloud I have no idea because I never had no Torah or I never had the New Testament in my hand. But whoever comes and rests upon me start teaching me. But not even Jew is rabbi that came to teach me or, or come and explain to me what happened. But in fact... God teach me everything. I do not have any rabbi or any pastor to teach me Torah. No, everything comes from him. 
I am learning from him. He teach me and he guides me. So Christian people listen to me. What I'm saying is that Jesus is came to deceive you all. If you understand the Old Testament, your pastors never tell you all this thing because it's easy way to make money. For them is very easy because New Testament, the way it is written is very simple, very small book and to understand parables and, and, the, and the scriptures make you pumped up. But that's good. I am not against you. Again, the Christian people, they are good. You all are grafted in. Remember, you're not rejected. The title of this video will be, He was rejected. He was rejected. But you all are not rejected. You all are grafted in. Who was rejected? Jesus was rejected. That's what I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to show it to you. And then remember to watch my old videos. All the last maybe seven or eight video that when I started telling you that Jesus is nothing but a son of Satan and that's a powerful thing I am telling you and also that make me put me into trouble also but I am going to tell you whatever God reveals me and I am not afraid of nobody I am only have a fear of Lord and whatever the Lord said or reveals me I'm going to tell you and I ask God also listen do not put me in trouble do not put me in trouble because two billion people believe that Jesus is a God or a Lord or he is the Messiah uh, he did all the miracles and right now also they see miracles in their life I mean all those things that they do not understand that when you when you realize in your life that this world is nothing. You want to change yourself and the transformation comes to you. It's not about Jesus. Our father is the one can help you. Nobody else. So today I'm going to read chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14. Very slowly. So you can understand. And then I'm going to go through something else. And we talk about what's coming up in future. So let's go and read chapter 14. On the chapter 14 of Isaiah. In the beginning is a different. In the center is a different. And the end is a different. There are three paragraphs. So on the first one. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. So if you remember, I told you that he is the son of dawn. I told you that my title was in the beginning. There is uh, one of the video. He is a son of dawn. You have been cast down to the earth. First of all, you know that this paragraph is God is talking about that. The angelic being, the one who was with him in the beginning, in the right end. That he, when I read, you will know that why he throw him out and what he is planning to do. You have been cast down to the earth. So he is in the earth, the Satan, the devil is down there in the earth. You who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, I will ascend it to the heaven. So when he, he went probably up there when he was uh, decided to that he can do something better than our father or God. He said, you know what? I can do better than that. And so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go above one more level. So he said, you said in your heart, I will ascend it to the heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of the God. He wants to go above stars of the God. Remember, master is always master. And master always have a plan. Master is never stupid. When God 
put something in somebody and he knows exactly that that person will fulfill that job and even if the devil attack him he will go down but he will always come up because he has another plan so i will raise my throne above the star of god please stay with me something good is coming so stay with me i will sit and throne on the mount of assembly on the uttermost height of mount zaphon i will ascend above the top of the cloud so this is proud the you can see that how he is a proud and he wanted to do all this thing uh I will make myself like the most high. Oh, he want to be a master. He want to be like a god or he want actually above god, you can say. But now the things change. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead to the depth of the pit. Look at this. Those who see you stare at you, the ponder your faith the spirituality he says that people will be stare at you now if you if you look the movie jesus you know how when he was ready to crucify all the people were walking and staring at him they were staring at him and so what over here is saying that those in the on this paragraph he is talking in earlier right now but in the down paragraph you will understand where, where am i going so what he says those who you stare at you they ponder your fate is this the man who shook the earth and made kingdom tremble the man who made the worlds of wilderness who overthrew the cities and would not let his captive go home all the kings of the nations lie in state each in his own tomb listen to me very carefully now in the beginning it says that he is so proud he did so many bad things he is trying to destroy everything and the next thing comes all the king of the nation he in lie in state each in his own tomb they are in the tomb but you are cast out of your tomb now who was cast out of the tomb that you all know jesus he was cast out from the tomb almost everybody once they go in the tomb or have a burial Uh, they die and they go inside but god said over here that he the satan supposed to be cast out so who's cast out is the only person we know from old testament to the new testament is one person that jesus is the one that in new testament they talk about that he get up and he's is get out from the tomb even though he was already been uh, had a burials and they, they already put the mar mera and ropes and whatever he they supposed to do they did it and and he was still out so he was the one cast out from the tomb look at this what he says but you are cast out of your tomb like a rejected branch rejected branch remember i told you in the beginning christian people you are not rejected you are grafted in we the you will be grafted in with the jewish people god will save you but he is the one is rejected branch if he is rejected branch and if anybody will be with him they will be rejected branch also So God will give you a chance in the end to believe who's the real Moshiach, real Messiah, who's the real Son of God is that you all need to believe because over here 
but you are cast out of your tomb like a rejected branch. What rejected branch? The rejected branch will be burned in the fire, fire of hell. That's what we do. The rejected branch never produce anything. You cannot do nothing. So those branch, that branch will be thrown out and burned into fire. And that's what it says in the Revelation chapter that the Satan will be cast out and he will be bind forever and ever in the fire. So look over here. You are covered with the slain. Remember, when you watch him in the movie, he was looked like slain. Slay, he has a blood all over. He, had a, he, he was a distress. He was a, uh, like horrible. Horrible. Uh, 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 you can see his face. You are covered with the slain. With those pierced by the sword. Who was pierced by the sword? Him. Him. Everything you see in the movie. When they show you that he got those crown with the throne. And then the blood all over. And then you see his clothes are blood all over. Then he, you see uh, that, that he been pierced. And the blood is coming out from everywhere. Those who descended. To the stone of the pit, like a corrupt tremble under foot, you will not join them in burial. Who will not join in the burial? Jesus. Jesus is not going to join in the burial. He may be, let me tell you, if he is cast out from the tomb, he may be still walking. Or he may be dead that nobody, nobody even find his body. Nobody ever find his body. He never went up there. Let me tell you. He never been resurrected. He never been sitting in the right hand of the God. He is somewhere walking out from that tomb and may be dead somewhere that he don't want it to show nobody. They, 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 I am telling you one scenario, one scenario, if I cast out from the tomb after what happened, or even though I know the God plan to make, and, and my plan, the Satan plan, sorry, the Satan plan to deceive you, then he did the exactly same thing what God is saying, the Isaiah saying, that all these things, you will see to make you deceive that he will be slain, he will be pierced uh, with a sword. Those who descended of the some of of the pit, stone of the pit, like a corrupt trample under the foot, the worms under your feet. You will not join them in a burial, for you have destroyed your land. Now he is saying that what Satan was doing it in the past, he destroyed the world. He don't let the captive go and kill your people. Let the offspring of the weaker. Over here, the, the third paragraph is about the punishment to those wicked people, those who are joined with the Satan. He is talking about Let's see. Let the offspring of the wicked never be mentioned again. Uh, prepare a place to slaughter his children for the sin of their ancestor. They are not to rise to inherit the land and cover the earth with their cities. I will rise up against them, declare the Lord Almighty. I will wipe out Babylon's name and survivor, her offspring and descendant, declares the Lord. I will turn her into place of owl and into swamp land. I will sweep her with the broom of destruction, declares the Lord Almighty. Let me tell you over here, if you read again and again, and if you put the two pictures together, Jesus' picture in the movie, the way they are showing you what happened to him. Anybody will deceive. Anybody will cry. I will cry also. I cry when I saw the Jesus movie. But now I don't because I realize who he 
was he ready to deceive you all people listen i am telling you with a very confident and with with a boldness because that's what god revealed me i was last night praying i say god give me something and he gave me isaiah 14 and i been looking that one and reading and i understand that what he is trying to tell me that whatever he did and that's how so many people deceive and that's what satan been doing it from the beginning he used some of those scriptures from the old testament and deceive you that look the son die for your sin but in the old testament never said that the, the son is going to die i'm not going to die the anointed one cannot die i am because our god is a god of alive i am alive i'm going to live forever so this is what god is talking about now there is you know there is lot of confusions between even Jewish people and the Christianity, the Jewish people since in the beginning, from the beginning, there is you're gonna find synagogues of Satan. You're gonna find some some good rabbi, some bad rabbi. Some are uh, not gonna believe the way the other believes. Uh, there is one guy I I just saw his video. Remember, I am a YouTube video. I am a I am a YouTube guy. or youtube moshiak why don't you just give me name youtube moshiak now remember i told you why i watch i watch so i can correct you i can correct you this young guy uh, uh and when you say something what you do is confuse other people and we need to be in one team because we need to build the temple temple has to be built and only temple can be built by me so there is no assumptions uh, 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 that he will do a b c d e and then he become a moshia no he is a moshia first and then he will do all those things so now let me tell you that this gentleman over here he say that i don't believe in one man i don't believe that what jewish people are believing that descendant of king david one of the son of king david will come and he will be on the throne and he will change everything he say i don't believe that it's we are the one will change everything now it's written over here so i can explain to him you can read from beginning to the genesis to malachi and genesis 49:10 uh, you can read to the malachi chapter where it says the covenant uh uh the messenger of the covenant will come and build the temple now let me tell you 2 samuel 7:13 or 1 uh, uh corinthians uh, 17:22 uh, balam they all prophesied about the son of king david will come in fact some also said the son of king david will come in one of the isaiah chapter let me read that one to tell you that he is also here you go okay so over here let me tell you isaiah 16 4 and 5 let the mobite mobite fugitive stay with you be their shelter from the destroyer the oppressor will come to an end and the destruction will cease the aggressors will vanish from the land in love listen to these scriptures please uh, in love a throne will be established a faithfulness a man a man only a man remember a man will sit on it one from the house of david one who in judging six justice and speeds the cause of righteousness now listen to me when you all if you understand these scriptures 
you want me to teach you let me tell you the day you will you want to expedite everything is only way you can expedite to believe me give me my uh, my throne and you will see the righteousness will follow us people will see the light it says over here one who in judging the sick and justice one from the house of david one who in judging the sick justice and speeds the cause of righteousness you want redemption you're going to have to put the king give him his place give him his crown trust in him believe in him believe me i am your king if i wasn't i would tell you straight i don't want to be that because it's not going to be easy i know the cup of suffering i will be drinking or the way i will go step by step how many obstacles will be on the way i can see that because there are so many jewish people still not going to believe me there are so many christian people not going to believe me there are so many muslim not going to believe me even though even though a lot of people will believe me there will be always 50 50 chance and but on the end he god talks about that there will be so many people uh, born of the evil we can say because they will follow the satan they will follow the evil world uh, uh, so the thing is and they they all going to end up in dying it, it's it's written in isaiah chapter in zechariah chapter you read each and every chapter the main focus of the torah is to bring israeli people back to the jerusalem build the temple we will be the light of the world even though the guy is his name is rudy ro and whatever he said all those things will happen but one thing for sure that son of king david has to be sit on the throne the uh the whatever government is over there has to be changed into kingship the they always wanted king and god had promised them to give them a king and god also promised the tribe of juda will be always on the throne now the question is you all going to have no doubt that how do you all know that i am from the tribe of juda or how do you know i am the one moshia yes all those questions you all will have always but i told you that son of man came in the cloud and rest upon me it's over the son of man is not coming back again for the christian people jesus is not coming back because he never went up there it never mentioned in the old testament i am your moshiach i am the shiloh from the beginning i am the branch he is a rejected branch remember he was rejected from the beginning when he was up there god have throw him out he is the rejected branch and the pole say no you all are grafted in because they have to switch the word to deceive the world because he was just building his own empire see how far he can go and now he don't have time because he was given 490 years or 6000 years out of that we already did 210 so 5790 years and out of that 490 years we are in 4000 483 or 5784 right now we are going my time is close it's all up to you it's all up to you it can happen tomorrow and it can happen in this year sometime but it's going to happen it's not going to go too far right now if you look remember i said about uh, a year ago that 
India will help Israel. If you look one of the video, it says India will help Israel because we will always going to back Israel. Remember, Israel and India is the only two country that uh, are uh, having problem either with the Muslims or Christians or whatever. But they both are trying to maintain the uh, their. Uh, what do you call uh, the, their religions? And so India will help Israel. And in fact, I heard that they were trying to send something, uh, uh, 20, 270 tons of immunations or uh, uh, missiles and everything. And right now it is in the Spain, whatever. But India is always going to help Israel, first of all. The second thing is right now, you know, that war of rumor, the third world war. Rumor is all over, even Putin is talking about nuclear war. They, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen either before I am coming or after I come. It, it's gonna happen. It's, it's already written. It's already written, so anybody prophesied anything it will happen maybe tomorrow it will happen in a month or two months or three months but it will happen on this year because everything is cooking even in united states of america if you watch and read people are suffering and remember i told you the finance plague is about to come to america doesn't matter how they can uh, uh, they think that their economy is good and they, everybody is making money. No, nobody is making money right now. They are just giving you wrong information. The plagues are coming. Some more plagues are coming. It's gonna happen because it's written in in the in the in the Old Testament Exodus time. Uh, was a ten plague came in, and we just passed only one plague. So all those plagues will come either before I come or after I come because it's going to happen. The evil has to go. Hamas has to go till Hamas don't get out. We all going to have a problems all the time. You have to cut down the rotten tree. Or problem will come again and again. And so Natanayu I am with you, Ben Gavid, I am with you right now. I don't care what people think. It's written. It's not me that I'm doing it. It's God's plan to clean up the mess. So we all can live in peace and harmony. Those days are coming. Remember, the knowledge will increase in the end time. In Daniel chapter, knowledge will increase, increase about everything from the spirituality to the, the technology. Everything will increase and people will change. People will change. And when there will be no evil, people will live in harmony. And that, those are the days are coming. Those are the days are coming, it's written. Temple has to be built, let's get together. Let's get together, keep your hands strong. It says before the end, beginning of the temple, there won't be no wages and no jobs. It's coming. Get ready. If get ready means I am talking about, listen, he will, he's in control. And if you're doing the right thing, everything come right on right time, everything for you. You don't have to be in, in a hurry to get out from America to go to Jerusalem. He said that before that, I will go. He will go. He will go and he is in me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. I will go before you. So then you all can come. That's what he's talking about. Now, in last video, I said that Jerusalem Israel is in right now, you can see, surrounded by all the nations and more nations are going against Israel. 
But nothing to be worried. Nothing to be worried. Because it's written in the end, the battle is not ours. It's his battle. It's his battle and his battle has been written what's going to happen. Eventually, he is the winner because the, de the devil has already lost his days. He, he couldn't able to figure it out how this son of man came, but son of man is over here now. He was wondering how it's going to come and he deceived the Christian people. Oh, he is sitting right hand of the father and he is coming in the cloud with his angel to pick you up all as a rapture. No, before rapture you may die. You're not going to see nobody. You're not going to see nobody, my friend. He came to deceive the world. Simple. He wanted this kingdom and he couldn't able to figure it out. What God have planned. Master is always master. You can be like master, but you never ever going to be a master. And that's what he also talk about. He was very good because Satan knows the book very well also. He has to pump you up. And like I said, the New Testament scriptures are the best scriptures. Make you pumped up, make you feel good. And that's how these rabbis, I mean pastors, are making money through those scriptures, telling you the stories out of that. But please, Christian people, do not hate me. Wait, watch, listen, read. Read. Answer is in the Torah. Answer is in the Torah that he has changed everything for his benefit. All the word from the Zechariah chapter to uh, uh, what he, uh, the one in the Malachi chapter for the, uh, what is the name, um, Elijah will come and, and then the peers, he, he was peers. Uh, all those words that he used for his benefit to show you that son of man died and rose again and is sitting in the right hand and whoever believe in him will be saved easy way to come to the heaven rather than narrow. All those things he has twisted for his benefit. Now, it's all up to you. What I'm saying is correct. I read the Isaiah chapter 14. You read yourself and read again and again. Who was that person being cast out from the tomb? Only Jesus. Only Jesus. And you know that also in the, in the, in, in the, the chapter 16, I, I read about that in, on the 14. In the end, he's talking about land of Babylon. And you know the land of Babylon in the end time is United States of America. And I just heard that uh, Putin... The Russia sent the nuclear ship in Cuba water, 150 kilometers from Florida. Because I don't know what's cooking. It's cooking something because one of the, one of the, uh, uh, from there, uh, Putin right hand man said something that they are enemy of america and america is enemy of uh russia now when all those that much level it went it's something is coming something is coming uh, somebody is going to do something uh, and and get ready that's all i can tell get the, the, it's coming and i am coming how I'm coming, like he don't believe that, that the one man will come. And yes, he say, how is going to come? How is going to come? After the war, from the war, he's a warrior or from telepath? Yes, by telepath. I can come sitting over here and tomorrow I will be in Mount Moriah. I told you a hundred times. 
it can happen if the son of man came in the cloud and rest upon me if he can come then he can fly with this body anywhere he wants yes it is possible and that could happen because you all are stiff neck and stubborn you not going to believe me now of course christian is never going to believe me right now till they will see that i will be in the mount of moriah so do you that i will be in the mount moriah when the two the mountain will be split as zechariah chapter talk about it could happen that way i am waiting because i know who i am i would not be lying to you and sitting over here and telling you i am your moshak i am your king it's a powerful things to say and that's who i am thank you and god bless you we'll see you next time